the analyst desk with Shox Deficio, who is standing by with Kasing. Thank you very much, D-Man. First off, Kasing, congratulations on that victory after a very long game. Let's break it down and start at the beginning because you guys got your hands on Cassidy. Um, the very first time we saw Selfie playing it, I believe, or the second time, and going pretty well. Did you expect to get those picks out of picks and bans, and how did it go overall? Um, we actually kind of expected Cassidy to be banned by them, because last time Alliance, they left the open for... Oh, I think it was, uh, it was Fnatic or Alliance, and we didn't... Oh, sorry, it was against SK, sorry. Uh, <laughs> no problem. They, we didn't pick Cassidy, and then they thought that we'll just let them have Cassidy again. And uh, eventually, well, we decided that we'll stick with the Cassidin, and then we played it out. We had late game with uh, Cassidin Rise, and then eventually we just snowboarded and went on the win. So I want to ask you a little bit about Selfie's build on Cassidin, if you have any input on it, where without any boots, is it something you guys practice a lot, or is it just Selfie's own idea he just brings out, or was it planned from the start? Um, since I'm a support, I, I never really comment on any other people's builds or what they built because maybe he needed a certain item before any he could do anything in team fights because he really needed the Zonyas in the second team fight we had and there was a having Zonyas is a, like there's a huge impact that he can put out in a team fight yeah and we do actually also have one of your team fights if you just pull it up on the screen it's our replay here and obviously you guys are sieging up here. You're 10-5 at the moment. Looking pretty good for you guys already. You're scaling into the late game. And if you just start rolling the clipper, you can talk it through a little bit. You're sieging the tower. It's actually SK Gaming starting fight after Imperial goes in. Well, basically, we said to engage. We wanted to force their flashes. And then we wanted to disengage back because we had like three champions that can snare, cog, cog slow or Morgana Q. And then we re-engage back in with Cassidy. Like We knew that Flash, uh, Ash didn't really have Flash. And then my, I hear binding on Ash, and then we eventually just cleaned up with Cassidy. And what did you actually think about the comp from, from SK Gaming with Yorick, with Kale, and of course the Ash Diver bot lane? We actually expected Freddy to go Kennen, because apparently Mama like, looked at his room pages before the game and then saw a Kennen room page. Mm. And following up on that, of course, playing versus that Ash, Zyra Tabs was tweeting how annoying it is. But you guys <laughs> did decide to stay in the same lane as it. Why was that? Well, <laughs> I, I think. Uh, Ash Zyra is like the most annoying bot lane ever, like over K Caitlyn Nami, because Ash, Ash can always poke you, and Zyra can always poke you at the same time with plants and Q. So, I don't know, we just played it safe. We didn't really go for any kills. Now, obviously, you played a few weeks in the LCS. You played in London from the big crowd and everything. What do you take from LCS so far and your own performance the first few weeks you've been on in the LCS? Um, I think my performance has been quite shaky, actually. Like. I'm not really happy with my current performance. I think I can do a bit better. Um, regarding thing and uh, super hot crew, uh, it's, it's kind of interesting because I used to play in another amateur team and the switch over from an amateur team to an LCS team is really huge. Like just drafting pick bands on how to engage with, or how to team fight in general. There's a lot of things that is different. A learning curve, but you're doing very well. Um right now as well, I should say. So if there's more to come, that's very, very good. Thank you very much and congratulations. Thanks for Thank talking you. to us. Now we're about to take a quick break, but we'll be right back for our next match where Millennium will face Gambit Gaming. Stay with us for that in three and a half.